what I consider myself to be is a master craftsman, right? And you can't, you can't work professionally today unless you really are in command of the visual side of the medium. If the story becomes cheesy or you start seeing a camera move, right, it's kind of saying, this isn't real. There's three kinds of camera movement which are always invisible. Externally generated camera movement, internally generated camera movement, and moving establishing shots. This is what I call you know, directorial bravado. Every moving shot does five things. The first thing that every moving shot does is establish geography. The most important thing in the scene is always what? The story. Okay. It's in the eyes of the person who is talking. That's the center of the drama. Task three is a good moving master generates eye candy because you move the camera past a static object. And task number four is every good moving master picks up coverage. So this is all about task number five, which is shooting a shot where you don't cut, where it plays in one shot. When you're understanding lenses, you only need to understand what the look of three lenses. The top lens is a 50. The middle lens is a 9.5. The bottom lens is a 300. And every other lens does the same, but just less so. There's three things that you have to do to make a good action scene, okay? One is you have to put the camera in the right place. Two is you have to put the right lens on it. And three is you have to get enough pieces to make it seem violent when it really isn't violent or dangerous when it's not dangerous.